breaking. Sheriff Joe just got ultimate payback on Obama. What is the statute of limitations on someone's ineligibility to be the President of the United States? It's not an issue that comes up very often, but senatorial candidate Sheriff Joe Arpaio wants to find out. Sadly there is still doubt as to whether former President Obama should have been qualified to run for president and rule the country for eight years. Even though Obama is no longer in office, there's still crusaders who are just as like Sheriff Arpaio who aren't ready to give it up. If Obama pulled the wool over our eyes, then he needs to be prosecuted for that grievous offense. Obama probably didn't consider Arpio to be much of a threat considering the trumped-up discrimination charges that were laid on him when he effectively did his job. A new day has dawned on the Trump administration. Not only has Arpaio been pardoned, but he's planning to run for a United States Senate. Obama is at the top of his problem list. Daily Mail reports that Arpaio is not quite as harmless as Obama might have wished. Not only is he pursuing the issue post-pardon, but he claims to have the evidence that he needs. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Joe R. Payeo rebooted the anti-Obama brother movement on Wednesday, renewing his claim that the former president's birth certificate is a phony document. No doubt about it, we have the evidence, the former Arizona sheriff said on CNN. The Republican is running for the Senate seat being vacated by Senator Jeff Flake. Arpaio was a staunch supporter of President Donald Trump during the 2016 campaign, and Trump showed his gratitude by pardoning him in August following a contempt of court conviction. Like many of the things that are important to Americans, this isn't just a campaign issue for President Trump, and this is something that he and many of us were worried about well before it became about the 2016 election. Trump himself was an early proponent of the birther movement tweeting nearly 70 times about his suspicion that the long-form birth certificate produced by Obama was fraudulent. Three months before Obama's 2012 re-election, he tweeted, An extremely credible source has called my office and told me that at Barack Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. Late in the 2016 campaign, Trump disavowed his earlier beliefs. But Arpaio told CNN that the president was right the first time around. We have the evidence, Arpaio said, while declining to provide details. Nobody will talk about it, nobody will look at it, and any time you want to come down, or anybody, we'll be glad to show you the evidence. Back in 2012, well before President Trump was the in the running for president, here's what he had to say about the Obama birthplace scandal. Host Chris Cuomo pressed Arpaio. So you believe that President Obama's birth certificate is a phony? No doubt about it, Arpaio said. Obama's birth certificate, which his campaign produced in response to Trump's years-long badgering, shows he was born in Hawaii. Birther advocates seized on a book proposal from Obama's days as a young community organizer, which said he was born in Kenya. If that had been true, Obama would have been constitutionally ineligible to serve as President of the United States. As Sheriff of Maricopa County, Arizona, Arpaio launched an effort in 2011 to prove that Obama was born outside the U.S., in what his critics called a shameless, sick, attempt to raise money for his re-election effort. He closed his investigation in 2016 without being able to prove what he set out to establish. Arpaio had been fixated on the investigation for years, even a deputy and member of his volunteer posse to Hawaii to question officials. In 2016 he complained to a crowd of about 75 supporters that his claims about the birth certificate weren't taken seriously. We and anyone else who dared to question the document have been maligned, falsely labeled and grossly criticized, he said then, refusing to take questions from reporters. Dubbed America's toughest sheriff, Arpaio was best known for running a tent city jail in Arizona's populous Maricopa County, and for targeting suspected illegal immigrants for arrest. He tweeted, I am running for the U.S. Senate from the great state of Arizona, for one unwavering reason, to support the agenda and policies of President Donald Trump and his mission to make America great again. No matter what your political affiliation, you should be interested in the President of the United States being constitutionally qualified for the job.
If someone intentionally tries to circumvent the Constitution while lying to the American people about it, then that is problematic on many levels. Sheriff Joy is hopeful that he can make Obama pay. If he's guilty of creating a false birth certificate, then that it will deter anyone else with the same illegal ambition. ambition.